Merrick Garland's claim that criticizing the Department of Justice is dangerous and outrageous is seen by many as an affront to democratic principles, particularly freedom of the press and the right to hold government agencies accountable. In a democracy, public scrutiny of government actions is vital to prevent overreach and protect individual freedoms. As a result, Garland's remarks are widely interpreted as an effort to suppress dissent and deflect legitimate concerns about potential politicization within the justice system. A range of public officials across the country. Over the past three and a half years, there has been an escalation of attacks on the Justice Department's career lawyers, agents, and other personnel that go far beyond scrutiny, criticism, and legitimate and necessary oversight of our work. These attacks have come in the form of conspiracy theories, dangerous falsehoods, efforts to bully and intimidate career public servants by repeatedly and publicly singling them out, and threats of actual violence. Through your work, you have made clear that the Justice Department will not be intimidated by these attacks. But it is dangerous and outrageous that you have to endure them. It is dangerous to target and intimidate individual employees of this department solely for doing their jobs. And it is outrageous that you have to face these unfounded attacks because you are doing what is right and upholding the rule of law. You deserve better. You deserve gratitude. For the public's response, especially from conservative circles, points to what they see as hypocrisy in how the Justice Department handles cases involving political figures like Donald Trump. There is deep skepticism about selective law enforcement, with Garland's comments interpreted as sidestepping the core issue, whether the Justice Department is being weaponized for political purposes. For many, holding government agencies accountable is not just a right but a patriotic duty. They argue that labeling such criticism as dangerous, is far more offensive to free speech. Garland's stance echoes criticisms from other Democratic leaders regarding fundamental rights, such as the Second Amendment, thereby reinforcing conservative narratives that the current leadership seeks to erode core American freedoms. The idea of condemning government criticism as dangerous raises public fears about rising authoritarianism and the suppression of dissenting voices. Consequently, many perceive Garland's comments as an attempt to obstruct legitimate investigations and silence voices that are crucial for maintaining a free and open society.